So, I don't know anything about this game, but I was given this key, the Steam key, by the developer. So, I'm obligated to play it. And uh, you, that uh, if you think that's going to affect my judgment or whatever about how I feel about the game, now you know. It sure looks cute, though. Kind of gentle music. It's put off a good vibe. I like it. What do we do? Oh! Was oh, this a platform or something? Or what? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's right, a little whack-a-mole. I see, so when stuff looks interactable, you interact with it, you get money, and you do other stuff. Okay. Well, this is kind of fun. It's very chill. Oh, trouble. Boom. Get out of here, troublemaker. Aha! We caught the fish. This is kind of like a clicker experience, except you're actively, like, clicking on stuff instead of just being, like, auto-clicker. Oh, we're about to get frantic in here. Oh, I see these guys will tend the garden for me, huh? Oh! A tradition, XLG. Best reason for anything. Tradition! Let's let these little homies handle the little garden duties down there. And then we'll, like, defend the farm. Farm defense 3k, baby. Dude, it's like my backyard over here. Well, okay, I don't have, like, you know, fish attacking me, but... Otherwise, it's a lot like my backyard. I have to remember this mallet trick. Oh, we're getting hectic.
And when we just had one of these little homies, I thought the little homie was us. But now I realize that is not the case. What do we got? Okay, we, we bought a cat. So yeah, this is basically a clicker game in disguise. Because we've got, like, auto-gatherer stuff. So those hairballs were five bucks each? Really? guy gonna fight the rabbit? No. Okay. You gonna fight the bird? Fisher, catch ten fish. Oh, 50 bucks for the ladybug. I'm not even sure what joke you were trying to make, XLG. Whoops. Okay, how do I get out of the pop-up? We've somehow... There we go. Oh man, this is frantic. It's super chill and completely frantic at the same time. Because I think the pressure is all self-imposed. I think I could just like let this go and nothing bad would happen. I like it that I'm not just, like, clicking one button over and over again. Like, you know, like, one spot on the screen. I'm actually, like, moving the cursor around, trying to take advantage of stuff as it pops up. Hey, we got another homeboy. Triple A homeboys. What are you talking about? This is just, like, pure dopamine. XLG. Oh, we bought them hats! I don't know if that helps them, but they're going to be working out in the sun all day. They need some hats on. This game is adorbs. It wants me to go this way. Garden expansion. Oh, okay.
After all that time I spent playing uh, Cookie Clicker, this is kind of a nice change up. Because in that game, if you wanted to grind it out, you need to play in a particular way. And you just clicked in one place on the screen after a certain point. You never clicked anywhere else. Feed the thieves. Feed a bunny. Oh no. We had a little bunny steal our stuff. This really is my backyard. Level 7. I kind of thought the cat would scare the bunnies away. But I guess not. What do we got here? What did that even do? Get that mole out of here. Oh no, it's an indie game. You don't like the addictiveness? I don't even know what that means. Did I just pay a hundred bucks just to have the little cheap, cheap fly around? Is that really what's going on here? Why would I need more territory, though? Like, this is super busy as it is. My little homeboys there can't keep up. I say that knowing full well I can't keep up. How does how far does this go? Is this like infinite? Can I keep making this like farm bigger? Another homeboy. Let's give him a hat. Dude, I should get my auto clicker out. Then I don't have to click anymore. Hold on. Where do I keep my auto clicker? Give me a second. I'll tell you, I deleted my auto clicker since I stopped playing clickers. Great. Here we go, auto clicker. All right. There we go. Now my hand's not hurting. Yeah, I definitely appreciate the aspect of having to like mouse around the screen to uh, interact with stuff, as opposed to just being like, I will park the cursor in one place for optimization. close to hitting the next level here. I guess I'll try to get to star level 10. I don't know what that's going to take to get there. But let's try that out. That bird just stole a berry. That's okay. Bought a hat, but we ain't got a person to put it on.
You need an acorn to afford that, okay. Well, let me turn up the speed of my auto clicker. That's right, guys. Make me some money. Oh, hold on. We just got one acorn thing over here. What does that do for us? What does that do for us? Oh, we got another homeboy. Who needs a hat? Make a magpie drop something. So we got Chivo. So yeah, you could play this so that you like just let these guys work and do their thing for a while. that fish. Okay. Well, this game is awfully cute. But I don't know that this is necessarily great stream material here. I feel like we've seen a lot of what this game has to show us. I'm gonna watch them. Get the bunny out of here. Watch this little mouse. I want to see what he does. go across the screen and not actually eat anything? Yeah, he did. Okay, that seems weird. Whack-a-mole, bash ten moles. I knew there'd be a whack-a-mole badge. That is like my mom's favorite uh, game. When they, like at an arcade, the old whack-a-mole machine. I don't know what that says about her. Alright, we're almost to level ten. That's kind of where I want to go. I feel like we'll have seen a fair chunk of this stuff by then. Like if there's going to be a new twist... Level 10 is a good time to introduce a twist. Okay, we just bought more land. And another homeboy who needs a hat.
Look at those turnips. That's right, just get money popping everywhere for me. This is how farming works in real life. There's an omnipotent being with, like, a hammer that just goes around punching things in the head. They get too close to the crops. And otherwise, little blue people uh, pull crops up and they immediately turn into money. You don't even have to take them to market, man. You're just like, mm, yeah. This is now five dollar. Glad we could introduce farming to a new generation. This game's awful cute. I like the music. The sprite art is nice to look at. Uh, it gets a little frantic, but it's not overwhelmingly frantic because there's no danger. Hold on, we got like a new hat or something. Starting out, reach level 10. Okay, we just bought new hats and it didn't do anything. We can grow corn. Okay. Wait, what is this? What was that guy? Sorry, I was like looking at one thing and then all of a sudden this dude with a drill comes running through the screen? What the hey was that about? There was so much going on on the screen at any moment. We got another acorn. I don't I don't really know what that means. Really magpie trying to steal my leaks. I think we're going to stop here. This is fun and all, but I think we need to go play something else. That was Plantera 2. Kind of a fun little experience. Uh, more, more click addictive than Kiwi Clicker was. Kiwi Clicker felt mean. This doesn't feel so mean. We buy more trees. Like that. Yeah, I hear. I kind of wish these dudes could pick the stuff off the trees and I didn't have to click all that. But otherwise, I got no complaints about this. But Plantera 2 Golden Acorn. Check her out.